there I got something very exciting in the post today and I wanted to show you what it is I finally got my new sewing machine today yay look 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 oh my gosh so I thought I would do an unboxing video for you I had a couple of requests to do this once I got my machine so that's what I'm gonna do I'm going to stick you on a tripod and I'm just going to open the box and have a look and see what's inside. Okay, I think, I think I'm kind of in shot, I don't know, but uh, this is how big the box is. Ooh, it's huge and it's very heavy. Oh, that angle is so much better. Okay, so I've just changed it up a little bit. So, let's open. It's very exciting but really scary at the same time. Congratulations! You've just made a great decision by buying a brother machine. That's nice. Now, it's getting it out of the box. Ooh, ooh, whatever that was. What's that? Oh, I got a measuring tape from the place where I bought it from. Okay. Alright. Um, I don't really know where to start. We've got our manual and quick reference guide. So we'll put that there. We've got oh, the cover. We've got side table. All of the accessories, I believe, in the box. And now for the machine. So it has, oh, it has a handle. Fantastic. Maybe I should put this on the floor. I might do that. Oh, it's heavy. Oh my goodness. Wow. It's huge. Goodness gracious. Take the plastic off. Mmm, new sewing machine smell. Yay! My gosh. It's huge. So this is what we're looking at so far. It's all a little bit daunting, isn't it? All of these little knobby bits and... Look at that foot. All of the controls. And... I believe this little bit goes up. Yes! cool and then the bobbin is in this bit here let's take that off uh-huh hello hello bobbin how are you okay i'm not ready for that just yet i'm gonna put on this just to see how big it actually is and we'll go from there bar here that's the knee lift thing never used that before there we go wow there's so much room goodness gracious there is so much room here like i can't believe it it's just so much room Looks good though. Okay, so let's have a look at some of the uh, accessories that are in this box. Say hi to Charlie. Hi Charlie! Hello Charlie! What are you doing? You're barking at the neighbours. Let them be, they're playing. They're fine. Yeah, good boy. Is there a particular way I should open this? Uh, oh, jeez. Aha! Uh -huh. So, we've got the um, cord, the electrical cord, which is handy. We've got the foot pedal or the foot control and the cord that goes with it. And then we have our wonderful accessories pouch full of all the stuff we need to actually use the machine. Nice. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's have a look. 
I'm going to show you the ones that I recognize. This model comes with a walking foot. That's a pretty intense walking foot. I mean, like... Oh, jeez. <laughs> like, there it is. That's some serious walking footage. And it looks like a really evil bug or something. Oh, that's exciting. There it is. A quilting foot or a stippling foot. There. We've got bobbins. This one comes with metal bobbins. Uh, oh, yes. Comes with needles. Awesome. So we've got two different sized screwdrivers. So I'm assuming one, the little one is for the, the needle. Oh, yep. Yeah. And then the big one is to change the feet. We have a wheel to hold the spool in place. I think that's what that's for. A little cleaning brush. I mean, to be honest, that ain't going to do very much. But anyway, a little netty thing to put on your spool so the thread doesn't come off um, and go everywhere. Ooh, that's cool. I believe this is a rolled hem foot. I'm trying to make it so that it doesn't focus on my face but focuses on the, the foot. Yeah, that is a rolled hem foot. I've only ever used this once or twice in like machine training that I've done through work so interested in, in seeing how that goes. I think this is another quarter inch foot. I should really look at the manual shouldn't I? Oh this this one is a quarter inch foot. That's the same as the one that's on my machine already. And then this one is something else. And then all the other things are bits that I don't really I've never really used before. Oh, I don't know. And I think this is a guide bar of some sort. Still, it looks really quite scary. But uh, again, the manual will tell me. It is a guide bar, isn't it? It is, because you, yeah, you can choose the, yeah, it's a guide bar. <laughs> but it's a very fancy one that I've never used before. So, again, that would be interesting. And then there's just a couple of other interesting bits and bobs and a grey thing that I don't know what it's for. But again, I will look at the manual and see what they all are. We should have a look at the manual before I turn it on because that is the right thing to do. Oh, I don't need this. And it will tell me what to do first. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Ooh. I keep forgetting it's actually got um, a thread cutter. My machine, my, my old machine, machine that I've been using, which I love, doesn't have that. So that's a new gadget to try. Exciting. Quick reference guide. Winding the bobbin. And threading the thread. So let's do that. So I'm going to wind on one of the bobbins with some thread. And then I'm going to thread the machine. Exciting. If I can open this little package. I've got to try and open it without it all spilling out everywhere. I just want one bobbin. Just want one. This might need cutting, I think. There we go. Just want one. Beep -beep. So now I'm going to need a little accessories pouch or box for all of my new sewing machine bits and bobs so that it's separate from my old brother machine. Guess what I'm making in the next couple of days. Yeah, or soon, I don't know. <laughs> Whenever I get the chance to do it. So, um, hello up there. I've just stuck the camera on top of the machine box. And you're actually up very, very high. Which you can actually see now the top of the machine. I need to grab some thread. I should have brought some when I was at work today, but I forgot. Look at Charlie. Hello, darling. Are you right, my lovey? Okay, my daddy. Yeah, I'll come out and play later. Yeah, we'll have a cuddle and a hug. So, I'm going to uh, try and set it up now. And uh, we'll see how we go. So, what are we doing? Okay, so 
so it goes up and around I need to put the power on otherwise it ain't gonna work No, you gotta figure out how it works. Yeah, pretty much. You should take about five minutes, wouldn't it? Yeah. But you know, I still wanna do it step by step so by I don't the, break it. By the page. By the instruction. Mm. Oh, oh! It just came on. So, off? On! Ah! Oh, happy days! Okay. that's so fast I thought it was broken but I hadn't pushed that in all the way and once I do wait for it to focus focus ready wow holy moly that's quick Jeez. that is so fast I've never seen a bobbin chill that fast before wow oh okay hello nice okay now I gotta that and that's my bobbin done awesome okay let's pop it in the bobbin case oh there's a bobbin already in there oh I didn't know that look at that there's already a bobbin filled already in the machine that's awesome okay well now I have a second bobbin full hey happy days I'm gonna learn how to put it back in now so the bobbin is now threaded and in the machine I think I just did the quick thread thing that this machine does and oh my gosh it's quick very very good oh, I just, just went very Donald Trump then anyway I'm now going to try and thread this machine and then have a little bit of go exciting and around and it goes back in there again into the middle bar. Oh, okay, it's one of those guys. Okay. Right, I'm gonna be honest, that threading is a little bit more complicated than the usual sewing machine. So, that's going to definitely take some time to get used to. And I'm going to have to consult the threading diagrams more than once until I get used to it but I think I did it right the only way to know is to test it and see what happens <laughs> I'm so scared I don't know why but anyway time to have a bit of a test a bit of a go moment of truth let's see how well this goes I think I'm ready to sew I think Eek. Let's just do it with the flywheel first. <gasps> I think I've done it right. Oh my god. <gasps> oh, that's beautiful, Charlie. Let's try the thread cutter, automatic cutter thread thing. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's very nice. Let's do that again. Oh, okay. Calm down. Let's turn that on. <gasps> this so is so nice. That automatic thread cutting I, it's just the life, I swear. That's fantastic. Those stitches are beautiful. That's lovely. Oh, got to go one more time. One more time. Whoa! It's so fast. That's incredible. That's crazy. I love this machine. Okay, totally worth it. Totally worth it. Let's see how fast it can actually go. Oh, 
It made you look, didn't it? That's crazy. Amazing. Well, I'm just going to uh, now play around a little bit. Actually, I've got to go have dinner because dinner's ready. Once I sort of get used to the machine and just, you know, use it a couple of times, I might do a review on the machine. Let me know if you want me to do a review on this machine and I would gladly do it. So far, I can say it's a pretty good machine. I am very, very happy with it. Very happy with how big it is. Very happy with the speed and the power of it pretty happy with all the accessories even though I haven't used them yet. If and when I do a review I will uh, definitely say just how good they are. For first impressions this is a wonderful machine and I'm very happy that I bought it. Now I can't wait to play. Ooh, very excited. So this is all it nice and set up. Old machine, new machine. Exciting. But with that, I'm going to say goodbye for today, and I will see you another time very, very soon. Bye!